Hi, my name is Rachel Hergerzak, student here at Schoolcraft this semester. I kind of wanted to talk to you about what I'm all about, where I'm from, about myself. I am from a family with a mom and dad. I have a younger sister. She's four years younger than I am. I grew up in Belleville, Michigan. It's by Romulus Ypsilanti area. I went to a Catholic school called St. Anthony Academy, very small, close-knit community. I had 15 kids in my graduating class, and we were the biggest class of the school. For example, there was five kids in seventh grade. So that community is really a second family to me. Uh, my family actually, my parents divorced when I was 12 years old. So I dealt with divorced parents for about two years until my mom ended up making the decision to move from Belleville and put us into a great school district like Wald Lake. So I moved up here with my mom and my sister when I was 13 years old. I attended Wald Lake Northern that fall. It was only a month later. So I didn't know anybody at high school. And St. Anthony Academy, the school that I just graduated from, just shut down. We were the last graduating class. So it was a huge change for me to go from such a small Catholic school to a huge public school. It was definitely a culture shock. Uh, I actually um, was a part of volleyball, golf, and basketball at Wald Lake Northern. I could not stay on golf, but I did it just because my dad, he's actually a professional amateur here in Michigan. Uh, he qualifies for many tournaments around the United States, so it's kind of cool to have a dad that is such a high looked at figure in the golf community. Uh, my mom actually went back to school when my parents divorced, and she is now an uh, autism spectrum disorder teacher for middle school, seventh grade. She just finished her doctorate in um, autism special, no, I lied to you, special ed administration. She got her bachelor's actually just seven years ago, her master's three years ago, and just her doctorate this past year. So super proud of her. I have an awesome role model to look up to for education. Uh, from Walt Lake Northern, I actually transferred to Western Michigan University. I was going into the speech pathology and ideology program there with a sign language minor is what they promised that they would be having within the next four years I was attending. However, things are different and they ended up never getting their sign language department. But due to the speech path, they are so highly ranked that I chose Western over Central because those are my two options from high school. I ended up joining a sorority. I'm an Alpha Chi Omega. I was president of my sorority, my pledge class, in my first year there. It was an awesome experience, and I love my sisters. I had the best time. Living in the house was quite the experience. However, I, I was able to actually travel abroad, and I moved to Sydney, Australia last year from February to July. The people that I met there, I went completely by myself, and it was an awesome experience. And the people I met there that were actually American, uh, two of them are still my best friends. Uh, we created such a friendship there that I just don't think will ever end. One lives in Wisconsin and the other one lives in Virginia. And I'll be traveling down to Virginia this winter to go visit her now that she just graduated from University of Richmond. Uh, and then I actually, my friends from Australia that are actually Aussies, they come and actually travel America all the time. It's the coolest thing. I actually learned so much more about America being over there than I did actually living here in the last 20 years. So that was kind of interesting because I, I felt like I was aware of my surroundings, but I realized I wasn't. I was pretty close-minded about different cultures and now I think traveling should absolutely be a must in everybody's life. Even if it's to a different state, you just learn so much more about different communities. So. I had the time of my life. However, coming back, I realized that speech pathology wasn't for me. I just, it takes special people to
to do what I was going in to do, and it wasn't me. So I ended up changing my program into communications, actually, with a minor in Spanish and a sign language certificate. I really would like to be a sign language interpreter. Uh, my main goal is actually to be a youth pastor. I'd love to be a youth pastor for actually deaf and blind kids. Um, I really want to get the word out there. And just because they have a hearing impairment or a speech impediment, I feel like they should still be able to be able to communicate with other people around them. So I would really like to do that. Um, so I'm actually transferring to Oakland University this fall. I'm hoping to finish in the next year. I was a semester early at Western, so thanks to taking summer classes the last three years, I get to actually graduate right on time, technically, in four years at Oakland. So I'm really excited about that. Um, something kind of unique about myself, too, I'd like to just point out, being 20 years old as a senior in college, um, only 21 in November 18th, I'm really excited about it, but I'm actually obsessed with penguins. My friends all laugh at me and joke, but really, they totally tend to my habit of my addiction to penguins. Um, when I was over in Australia, for my past couple of birthdays, I get penguins. Um, a couple of them are actually behind me. Oh my gosh, there's three of them, so yeah. Um, I love penguins, and I don't think that'll ever, uh, I don't think I'll ever grow out of it, so um, that's a little bit about me, and it's so nice meeting you guys, so I'm excited to watch all your videos. Bye!